Today we're going to be talking about Dynamics 365 marketing. My name is Michael Gaga. You can find me on LinkedIn. I hold three Microsoft Dynamics 365 slash CRM certifications. Um, one in sales, one in customer service, and one in customization and configuration. My career focus is to help businesses perform better by using Microsoft web technologies. Um, I'm very familiar with Dynamics 365 slash CRM, Microsoft portals, mobile app development, web API, Azure, uh, jQuery, Bootstrap, CSS, etc. Okay, today we're going to be looking at Dynamics 365 and the marketing capabilities. So I'm just going to navigate to marketing. And we have some entities here that I'd like to speak about. Um, so we can direct campaigns at uh, accounts, um, contacts, and leads. If you don't know what a lead is, it's essentially a contact um, that has not yet been qualified. Um, so essentially someone who you do not have a business relationship with and you don't know if they're a potential opportunity. Um, other entities are marketing lists. So this is uh, essentially a list of either leads, contacts, or accounts that meet certain criteria that you'd like to uh, market to. Then we have uh, campaigns and we have quick campaigns. So the difference between campaigns and quick campaigns is quick campaigns is essentially one uh, campaign activity. A campaign activity can be um, send out an, an email blast or make a phone call to members on a marketing list. So let's get right into it and uh, create a campaign. So I have some campaigns here. We're just gonna go ahead and click new in the top corner and we can just call this um, this campaign email blast and give it a code if we want or um, change the currency um, we can just give it a type of other and we can give it an expected response of 10% we have the ability to indicate when the start date is and when the end date would be so this is this this does not affect any functionality or have any functionality around it besides just um, um, you know inputting the field, and we can just go ahead and save that. So we have a manual way to actually change the status on the on the uh, campaign, so we can change it to propose, ready to launch, launch, completed, cancelled, suspended, as we choose. Um, we also have the ability to add tasks uh, for, for ourselves or other uh, staff members. So we can say um, review campaign and we can assign this to someone as we choose or assign it to ourselves. And we can just click OK. Um, the next part is we want to uh, add a marketing list. So we can choose from our pre-selected marketing list here, or we can go ahead and create a new one. We can actually add multiple marketing lists if we'd like. So we're just gonna call this uh, active contacts. That's gonna be the type of marketing list. Um, so we can essentially have two types of marketing lists, static or dynamic. Static is a snapshot in time, whereas dynamic, um, it's actually uh, the as a criteria. Um, the, sorry, the, the marketing also have certain criteria. So say, for example, give me all the contacts that are in the U.S. So I have uh, you know a, a country code of the USA. Um, now, if that changes, that country code changes, um, the dynamic marketing list will, will essentially remove or add that person to the list. Whereas in a, a static list will essentially just take a static snapshot in time right now um, and, and use those contacts on the marketing list. Um, so we can target a marketing list at accounts, contacts, or leads and just choose accounts. Once you set this, you cannot change it. And we're gonna just go ahead and save that. As soon as we save it, we see we get a little plus mark here so we can add people to this. Okay, so now this is our filter criteria. So we're gonna choose contacts 
as our entity and then we can choose a pre-selected uh, pre-built view here so for example active contacts or inactive contacts I'm just going to choose active contacts and you see here it brings in the filter criteria of active contacts so we can actually add to this so we'll say for example if we wanted a country slash region equal to USA we can actually add that in if we wanted to I'm just going to delete that and just go with what we have and we're going to click use query and that's going to essentially add those those uh, those members to the marketing list so you, you see here they, they haven't showed up so I'm just going to refresh the screen actually that was not very good I'm just going to go back here um, and open it and it, it doesn't automatically update but you see here once we refresh and come back we have the active contacts in here so there are two um, sometimes you'll actually see um, uh, blank lines in here so if you don't have the full name or the business phone the line will just appear blank and, and you might be confused that there's no contacts in there okay so we have our active contacts they've been added down here you can just grab them and click select and that would put them right here I'll just show you that so click there and then click select and add them in now if you don't do that it won't add so we can add now we're gonna add to all to the campaign and all under distributed campaign activities click add so our marketing list is right here okay. now we can add uh, or we can change the status to uh, ready to launch save that so we can add a campaign activity next So we're just going to call this uh, first email and our channel we're going to set to email. So this is important in order to send the email and we're just going to direct uh, initial contact and we can just go ahead and, and save this and all these other fields are optional. So as soon as I save now here I can add marketing list to this and you see that automatically our you know, the marketing list added to our campaign has showed up here so this is great so now when we're actually ready to email um these these uh, this marketing list as a part of this campaign come up here and click uh, distribute campaign activities our activity we can use a email template if we have one or we can simply just create the email here and we choose who we want it from and we can just say um, this is going to be the first email blast. That's the subject. And then, hi, this is your first email blast. Email. Thanks. And then, what we do uh, to send this email is we click distribute campaign activities. Okay. And then we can choose who we want to assign these email messages to. Assign them to me, and then we just click distribute campaign activity or distribute here, and that will actually send the emails out. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to bother the people. So we're going to go back to the campaign. Again, we have the ability to change the uh, status of the campaign and save that. And so if we'd like to add a phone call um, campaign activity we can do that as well so if your staff are going to call everyone on the marketing list then you can go ahead and add that in there um, you have uh, as well as you have other um, other data here that you can input so that's it in a nutshell hope that helped subscribe for more videos on dynamics 365